What's up guys? It's time that we show you guys the house. I know we kind of brought you along for some of the build, but I've never shown you the completed house. So we're gonna do a little makeshift tour, talk about uh, the house now that we've been living here for a little over three months. So let's do it. I'm Trent Palmer. I fly drones for a living and bush planes for fun. Follow along as I journey off the beaten path of aviation. And oh, Haley, perfect. Why don't you show us the kitchen? Okay, yeah, we ended up, uh, cabinets came with the kit, so it was super straightforward. We ended up going with uh, Z-Line for our appliances. And so, yeah. Yeah, pretty clean and simple. So everything that you see in here, like all the finishes came with the kit. This was a kit home. It's kind of like a prefab home. Um, the difference between a prefab and a kit, I think, is just kind of how much is prefabricated. Uh, ours just had pre-framed walls, but basically all the finishes for the house came with the kit. So there was no stumbling over, forgetting things, or changing our mind, or having any unforeseen expenses. So that was the nice part of the kit. Yeah, aside from that, we ended up picking out all the lighting that you're going to see. Uh, something that was super important to me, so um, I did my research. But yeah, let's show you around. Yeah. So the cool thing about this house is it's actually a good bit smaller than our old house. Our old house was almost 2,900 square feet and it was just more house than we needed. This one's just shy of 2,400, but it's a, a very open, usable floor plan. So it almost, it's like a smaller house that feels big, so. Yeah, we really wanted to go with the indoor-outdoor concept. So the back porch um, is easily accessed, obviously, with all these sliders and same with the front. So eventually when we get some landscaping in, it's gonna really come to life. But until then, it's still beautiful. Yeah, don't judge us. It's not gonna just be bare dirt. We'll have stuff. You wanna see the zone? Yes. So this is uh, the office. This is where I do all my editing work and Haley does all her uh, bookkeeping and, and other work. And eventually, we're gonna set this up as like a talking space that we can work in here and, and shoot videos and all that. But right now, I don't know if you hear it, there's a ton of reverb, so gotta do some, some sound dampening or something. But, yeah, create yeah. a little studio space for you. Yeah. In here we have one of our guest baths. Uh, it's a three quarter bath, I guess it would be. Again, all the finishes came with the kit, so it was like all the tile, everything included, which is pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, it was really exciting. You know, we showed up, as you saw, in a later video, we showed up to pick everything and this is kind of the process. This is what we ended up with. So um, we were really excited. It took us about a year um, before we saw what we picked, but we think we did really good. Yeah. And here's our, our fireplace that this was a, a big ordeal that this was not included with the kit. We were gonna do a propane one, but we decided propane's expensive. The price is always going up. We have tons of dead uh, trees out here. There was a fire that went through, I don't know, 20 plus years ago. And it's all perfectly fine burnable wood. It doesn't burn the cleanest, but it's free. So free, fee free heat for the house uh, is the way we wanted to go. So we did this big, you know, clear view. Yeah, it can't be free, fireplace. huh? Did the trench plate steel. This is all hot rolled steel. And yeah. And the dogs are going on the tour with us. They think they're part <laughs> of it. So here's our master, um, perfect size for us. All we wanted is just enough for a bed and it worked out great. And then I want to show you our bathroom. Right, put on some lights. Here's the tub with a beautiful view. Yeah. Love hard it. To, hard to tell right now, but it normally is a pretty nice view. And then I got the big shower I wanted, um, which is nice. Again, all the stuff came with the kit. Got a closet, a little messy. Haley doesn't want to show that. <laughs> oh, I know. 
It's um, a three bedroom home, so we managed to get a nice guest bedroom in here. Uh, same with bath, which is similar to the other one you just saw. And here's our guest bedroom. You know, we wanted to make everyone comfortable, keep it clean. And as you can see, it's so beautiful. Every oh, yeah. window has Look at the a view. Glow. Can't beat that, huh? All right, we're gonna keep the outside portion short because it's really cold. I think it was six degrees out last night, which my breath. I was worried about our water tank freezing, but so far so good. We have a little strip heater up it anyway. Uh, it's all part of us getting used out here and dealing with everything. So uh, this is the back. This is kind of our, our favorite part because the view on this wide lens, you probably can't tell, but we can see like almost a hundred miles down that way. Uh, you're seeing into California over on the west side and then the rest just goes way down, um, I don't know, south of Reno. But basically, that's the house. Yeah. You know, it was something that, uh, as you guys kind of saw, we struggled with a bit. Neither of us really had any true construction experience and we owner built this thing and we ended up getting it done in like four and a half months, which yeah. was cool. And uh, you know, there's, there's things we would have changed, probably some stuff that uh, we would have done differently, but that said, I mean, with where we're at and how it turned out, I think we're both pretty happy. Any mistakes we made, uh, we paid for it. Yeah, <laughs> so that was the other thing. I know a lot of people were asking what we ended up spending on this. The actual kit itself, I think was 185, yeah. yeah, thousand. And that it's, it's interesting because there's a lot that is included and then also at the same time, a lot that isn't. And with us being out on, what is it? 76 acres and change, our infrastructure costs were what basically killed us. We, as you guys saw, drilled two different wells. We had to bring power out here. We had an engineered septic. Um, there was just a lot to even getting to where we could start foundation, but I think all said and done, we were right around what 550 yeah. for the house, you know, said and done. So it was right around 200 a square foot. Not including the property. Not including the property. We paid for that four years ago. Yes, we had bought that a long time ago. Yeah, and honestly, with the kit, some of the things to wrap your brain around it, what's included is everything on the inside. Um, how, how did they put it? It was the fixtures for the plumber that wasn't included, the electrical, the wiring that goes behind the wall was not included. So yeah. faucets, tubs, like, all of it was included. Rough plumbing, rough electrical, not yeah. included. Things like stucco, because yeah, it had to be done in, on site, that wasn't included, but all our decking material, all the metal, all the windows, all the lights, our light fixtures were all included. And this house uh, is one that was made by Zipkit Homes. We chose it because it's that modern look and open floor plan, and it was right in that size range we wanted, and Haley's always wanted kind of the H-style house. Actually, our first house we designed that was a full custom that we couldn't afford to build was, was very this. similar. No, it <laughs> was this, and you know, Chris with Zipkit was so wonderful to us, walked us through everything, so he was worth everything. Yeah, I will say, um, given that we bit off a little more than we could chew with this whole project, having someone like Chris, the owner of Zipkit, there to help us and kind of, you know, mentor us through some of the stuff, given that you know, we've never done this before. Yeah, it was a huge, huge help. All right, guys, I think that's it. Now you've seen the house. I'm sure you will see more of this in the future. And eventually, once we can save up for it, we'll be putting the hangar right over there on the other side of the garage and be basing the airplane out here, which is gonna be awesome. Yeah, and feel free to leave some comments if you have some more personal questions. Yeah. Uh, it's just kind of hard to cover it in a video. We don't want to bore you. Yeah. Exactly. So you guys know the drill. Like this video if you do. Subscribe if you haven't. Come be our wingman. See you on the next one. Peace.